Guys, um, just want to show you um, my five gallon tank here. The main purpose of this tank is just to grow out some plants um, and also um, to take off the itch of setting up uh, another fish tank. But I do have plans to set up one next year, but a bigger tank. But this one is just to um, start growing out plants and uh, add some shrimps and grow some shrimps if. If you guys uh, want to check it out, I have a, a lot of videos from my previous tanks and I have a ton of shrimps and I kind of miss that and it's, I guess it's perfect for a 5 gallon tank. So I just want to show this off and also uh, tell you something about the uh, snails. But uh, yeah, regarding this tank, um, it's a dirty tank. Um, I have some miracle Grow uh, soil from Lowe's leftovers so I used that and capped it off with the uh, pea gravel which made it a bit messy but again I'm not gonna put any fish in here or any uh, shrimps yet maybe in two or three months that's when 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 I'll do that so I'm not really concerned about how this tank will look um, I'm pretty sure it will look like a jungle that's how I like to uh, set up my tanks I'm not an aquascaper at all but I like the jungle look and I'll tell you about the plants in here uh, in a bit but basically yeah just gravel some miracle grow and you can see I don't know if that's some of the dirt on the on the uh, on the glass but again I don't mind I don't have anything uh, like any uh, stocking in here fish or anything so I, I don't mind um, and uh, just a quick um, just want to quickly tell you about equipment in here. Um, I have a, uh, a box tech um, nano hang on back filter from Amazon. Um, it's just like what, $15 or $14. And for the price, it's doing really well. It's what I like about hang on back filters, or the reason why I really like uh, feel, uh, hang on back filters is because it allows uh, water movement through the tank compared to sponge filters. But again, uh, some people like sponge filters better, but this one uh, is doing really well. Um, I have the Fluval Biomax in there, so it's it's a small filter, so I have only three in there. But basically, I have uh, the mechanical uh, filtration also up there, so it's, it's doing a, a good thing. And you can actually um, change the flow here, um, which is good. Uh, again, for the price, for the size, it, it's... Uh, it, it's a it's a great filter um, and for the light it's a night crew light aquarium light it's $15 um, again for the price for the size and the fact that it does well in clipping or screwing on a a uh, aquarium like this because there are some lights that is set up the way like this however it only works for rimless tanks but this is a rim tank so it works well so if you guys want to find a light like this that will work on uh, rim tanks then you can take a look it's a night crew light uh, from uh, Amazon and, and the reason why I prefer this instead of like a bar is because I plan to grow some plants immersed and that's an Arthurian Antera Rhinichii again I'm not sure if I pronounce it correctly um, but yeah, it's, it's one of the plants from my grow tent here uh, that I've been growing immersed and I just want to start to see how this will work. Um, on the other one on the right is a uh, one of the Amazon swords that I was able to um, uh, grow immersed but it was the one like, looking worse from the four that I got so in one of my videos um, I bought this uh, Amazon sword from my fish store. I was able to separate it into uh, four plants. Um, but this one is like uh, not doing well. And since I have a heater in here, I decided to put it in, in this pot and see if it will grow. But the last leaf has fallen. But I'll give it a few weeks. Let's see if, uh, if it will be able to uh, uh, survive. Uh, simply because it has a bulb. Like the, the root system is still really good. Um, oh, well, for equipment also, I forgot this is an Eheim Jaeger. Um, there's a lot of um, heater brands uh, or in in Amazon. Uh, however, 
this has a good reputation made from Germany and I've had this before from my previous things and you can check check it out from my previous videos and I've never had any problems with this um, like one and a half years I have to and no issues at all and I believe this is one of the equipment that you really need to uh, invest on because you don't want to cook your fish or first burn your house um, the other one is a this one is um, from Amazon also it comes in a three pack uh, with batteries um, just to check the temperature so I always do this um, although the uh, um, the Eheim here has a uh, like a thermostat I prefer to have another um, uh, thermometer that I can verify the temperature which is around 75 which is good um, what else so if you guys notice the plants are looking worn out um but they're starting to uh, um uh, stabilize or adapt um this is one of the plants that i really want to take care of for a long time but never had a chance this is the uh water wisteria or hygrophila deformis um and i actually cut off the top part because it already grew out of the water and and i planted it here um so I bought this from eBay and the seller actually gave me gave me free Rotala Rotundifolia. Have I known that he'll give me a free one? I shouldn't have bought one um, from the pet store because I, I tried to grow it immersed in my grow tent also. But this one's look really worn out, but I'm not sure if you can see it. But this one is starting to grow new leaves. And same for those two here. So uh, so that's good. Uh, now, I know um, like a lot of YouTubers, really great looking tanks. I'm again, I'm not a an aquascaper. Uh, I prefer the uh, the jungle look of uh, of a uh, of a tank. And every time you know we start a tank, this will for me it will it will look bad. And for me, it's important to also look on how a tanks are started. Because I think some people, especially beginners, think that uh, the moment you set up a tank, they should look good immediately. Um, one thing I've learned through the hobby is patience. Um, so at this point, I really don't care how it looks. I don't care if there's algae or uh, dirt on the glass. I will leave it be until the time that I'm uh, confident enough that it's cycled, that the plants has recovered, and I don't want to move things anymore. Then that's when I'm going to get livestock for it but basically for this thing it's only uh chair shrimps um yeah that's the other thing i mean uh big mistake of mine before is i'd buy I, i'd set up a tank real quick and then add livestock i add fish and then i decide to move the decor or move the plants it will cause stress to the fish it will cause mess on the tank so i think now that i think i have more experience in taking care of or in, uh, in fish tanks, um, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it slowly this time. Uh, two months, three months. I don't think it's a bad time uh, until I add shrimps. Now, as the title of this uh, video uh, shows, that I'm gonna talk also about snails, and I think you can see the snails here. Um, let's see here. There, there's one, and then there's another one and I just found these nails here today this morning and I'm I'm, I'm really happy because I, I, I'm concerned that I might not be able to uh, uh, get any snails and uh, apparently when I got this uh, these plants from eBay they brought some snails with them um, I didn't see it maybe there were eggs but there's another one and I am so excited. Um, not, and I'm, I'm gonna explain why. Um, so I know uh, some people don't like snails, especially these kind of snails. They think they are pests or hitchhikers. Uh, but one thing I've learned about them uh, when I started planted tanks is, one, you, it's really hard to get rid of them, uh, or uh, make to make sure that the plants you get won't have this kind of snails. Basically, they're. They'll, they're microscopic, they're in their eggs, so you won't be able to like literally mix like 100% get rid of them. But I'm glad that I 
early on in the hobby when I started with planted tanks I'm glad that uh, I uh, found out about them simply because they they do a lot of really good things for the tank and for one they help with uh, cycling the tank so so this uh, this kind of uh, snails are also are called bladder snails or pond snails uh, bladder snails because I think they they're able to float um, you'll be able to see them float on the surface of the tank um, but basically the reason why I say they help with cycling the tank is because they they poop they poop they eat the tritus they eat the um, the plants that are like uh, you know the dead leaves they they basically scavenge for stuff and they poop uh, bacteria feeds on their poop or feeds on their, on the stuff they leave behind um, and that's a good thing it will make cycling the tank for me at least in my opinion faster and and that is going to help also in terms of not using fish to cycle the tank like it's cruel to add fish in a tank that is not cycled and these guys I mean they're hitchhikers so it's not it's not like you put them in there so basically they're helping you out cycle the tank without even you know um, um, adding other livestock to do that so or lives okay um, so anyway I, I lost I, I lost my train of thought there but anyway yeah they will help cycle the tank um, so that's the, uh, one of the reasons why I really like them the other is they also serve as fish food and what do I mean by that um, so their eggs are like this transparent jelly like things that you'll be able to see on the plants on the decor on the glass and I've seen fish literally eat this uh, their eggs and that's a source of food for your fish and then the other thing is their shells are really soft so what I do at times is when I see a lot of them I'd crush them and the shrimp loves to eat them the fish would love to eat the meat inside the shell so they in turn becomes free food for your fish and you know gives uh, your fish a uh, uh, variety a different uh, like a varied diet um, the other thing that I can say that I why I like them is they're good scavengers so basically they would eat um, uh, leftover food like if you or yeah, so they say don't overfeed your fish or you'll see snails so basically that's why they will eat leftover food or too much food or they will also eat the dead leaves dead plants dead fish and I think the the best part is um, the other thing is not the best part but the other thing is they're small okay so there are a lot of snails in available in the hobby um, but first um, they're big uh, like the apple snails the Malaysian trumpet snails they're, they're huge and uh, to be honest I don't like big snails because they're not really part of you know for me they're it, it looks uh, especially if you have a lot it kind of takes away um, the beauty of your fish huh? I think that's how I see it anyways they're small okay they're, they're small I, I've never seen anything go bigger than like they they won't get too big so they will they, they're gonna be good for for the tank at least for me and uh, and last is they're free so as you can see I mean I just saw them it's been I had this tank now for like nearly two weeks or more than two weeks and this is the first time I saw them so maybe there were eggs at the time but yeah they're free you know you're not gonna be worried of killing them because again they're free um, and uh, they will help um, get the tank cycled and get rid of uh, detritus and other messy stuff so here it is one of the uh, one of them oh and that that is a bug bite um, wafer so I drop it there um, again I don't mind if it's too large for the snails but I want to cycle this tank at the same time and I will let the I want the population the uh, snail population to grow um, and another thing is in the future uh, I want to be I want to take care of uh, I want to try taking care of pea, pea puffers not in this tank in a bigger tank 
and uh, they will also be a source of food for the pea buffers so yeah so basically that's this is just a, a short uh, not really short it's 15 minutes but yeah I just wanna let you guys see this five gallon tank I'll keep it keep you guys updated um, see how it look like in a couple of months and uh, also wanna share my thoughts about apple snails or not apple snails bladder snails so so yeah that's it thank you bye